afternoon, teachers. My name is Pierre Faro, and they are my classmates, uh, Karen Molina and Flora Faro. To follow, we will present the selected paper, uh, the scenario as comparative analysis of sensitivity, coefficient, using, using a traditional vera of CATM and also vera of the CATM in the automobile manufacturing commons. Uh, the main purpose of this research was to compare the two uh, commonly used uh, pricing models, um, CAPM and the CAPM, in the auto automobile in manufacturing industry, so as to suggest more suitable uh, models that can be used to estimate the expected return rate in such industries. Uh, the population in this research is all automobile uh, manufacturing companies admitted, admitted uh, to terrain stock exchange organization. Well, um, since the uh, Shane and uh, Linda um, present uh, the comp model, that uh, it, uh, has been uh, extensible investigated, uh, showing obvious anomalies that can be refused. Uh, it, uh, it has long uh, discussed uh, is the, uh, whether beta is an appropriate measure of risk. Uh, in general, the discussion focused uh, the, on the ability of the CNPM uh, to explain the expected return on a rich basis. Well, the variance uh, um, is a uh, uh, questionable um, measure of risk for two reasons. The first, it's a prepared uh, measure of risk only when the distribution return is symmetrical. And second, the is a prepared when only when uh, the distribution uh, returns is normal. The EPM model is the most widely used for way to estimate the cost of capital. However, has seen being put into many questions many times because in especially the empirical evidence shows that it's not working appropriately in the emerging market. This because CAPM is valid if the probability distribution of return follow the following condition, the symmetry and normal. Uh, CAPM has been found to suppose that investors expect a high return but accepting more risk. And according to this supposition, the equation is as follows. When uh, RF is the risk-free rate of return, this is the risk premium, and beta is the coefficient who measures the sensitivity of the asset to the market change, but it's not considered a good measure of risk. This uh, because uh, beta uh, depends on the deviation, and the deviation is a parameter of the normal distribution. So we be assuming that distribution, the returns are normal. But when we are facing emerging market, that is no possible. So, um, like an alternative model, burns the DCAPM model, which incorporated the bias distribution. And the only difference between both models and the beta coefficient, who, um, because in the DCAPM models, the the only returns are incorporated in the calculated the returns are the negative fraction of the yield. So this is representing the function for the minimum function. And the set object. The CAPM potential test, as compared with CAPM, determine the expected churn rate of the automobile company manufacturer, determining the risk premium correlation rate as independent variable with the expected churn in both models, and determining the deviation rate of the expected churn from the realized churn in the two models. Uh, in this re research, four hypotheses were tested uh, in order to compare the sensitivity of the beta coefficient. Um, based on the two models mentioned above. Uh, but the first step taken was to review the distribution of the data used uh, for the analysis. The variables that were put to the normality test were the um, uh, 
um, market uh, return, the beta coefficient based on the CAPM model, the return uh, calculated with CAPM model, the premium risk of the market, chi i is the return, ah, excuse me, ri is the uh, return of stock, common stock uh, in company. Chi i is the uh, expected return calculated with CAPM, uh, the downside beta calculated uh, based on the DCAPM model, and the key j is the expected return uh, based, uh, calculated with the CAPM model. And as you can see, none of these variables behave normal. Uh, hypothesis and results. First hypothesis, hypothesis. The correlation rate between the market risk premium and the expected return of the DCAP, DCAP, uh, CAPM model is greater than the correlation rate between the risk premium and the market of the market with the expected return of CAPM uh, model. Uh, to test this hypothesis, they use the Pearson correlation coefficient, which presents these two hypotheses, the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. In the first table, we can see the correlation between the expected return calculated with CAPM model and the risk premium of the, of the market. And with the p-value higher than the level of trust, we conclude that they conclude that the null hypothesis, they accept the null hypothesis. In the second table, there is the correlation between the return calculated with um, DCAPM model and their uh, risk premium. And as you can see, with a uh, p-value uh, lower than the level of trust, the null hypothesis is rejected. And also, the Pearson coefficient is higher than the other one. Uh, well, f to test the next uh, three hypotheses, they use the Mann-Whitney test, which allows us to compare the means between two variables and conclude whether they are the same or they are different. These are the hypotheses that they accept. Hypothesis two, <coughs> the traditional beta of CAPM model is smaller than the downside beta of the CAPM model. And this is the man whitney test, and with a p-value lower than the level of trust, the null hypothesis is rejected, and the second uh, hypothesis is uh, accepted. The third hypo hypothesis, the, return, uh, the rate of return of the two models, the CAPM and CAPM, are different from one another. <coughs> This is the man whitney test, and with a p-value lower than the level of trust, the null hypothesis is rejected, and the third hypothesis is accepted. Hypothesis four. The standard deviation of expected return calculated with CAPM model is smaller than the standard deviation of expected return calculated with DCAPM model. We have to remember that RI is the return rate of common stock in company, and this uh, value was already calculated. And the, therefore, the, the variance between the 19 uh, automobile manufacturing company were measured. This is the test, and the result is a uh, p-value higher than the level of trust. Therefore, the null hypothesis is accepted, and the four hypothesis is rejected. In conclusion, the, uh, in conclusion, the result research revealed that the and the tradition rate is smaller than the downside rate. This can affect the expected return rate of the investors. However, no evidence that proves the error of expected return of DCAPM is a smaller error of expected return of CAPM. And so in conclusion, uh, Three of the hypotheses presented were accepted and one hypothesis was rejected. Uh, but they concluded that the DCAPM model is a uh, it's super, it's super, it's, uh, superiority than the CAPM uh, to, in order to determine the rate of return of the manuf automobile manufacturing company. I learned this um, emerging markets. Mm -hmm. It's an emerging uh, market. And Chile uh, equals. Mm -hmm. Are you conditioned to recommend uh, to use this CAPM in contrast to CAPM to be used in our country? Well, as you can see, uh, as you can see, 
said, uh, Chile is an emergent uh, market. Therefore, the DCAPM model will be suitable uh, to um, more suitable to uh, determine the expected return instead of CAPM. Because in emergent market, we 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 have a more negative uh, return. As my classmate said, the uh, the distribution of the returns is not symmetrical. It's asymmetrical. Therefore, it can be more C negative uh, returns than positive, so it's more suitable according C to us. model, uh, assume that the returns are uh, positive and negative are equal.